looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over solo battle stuff. A lot of solo battle info. Uh, some flashbacks are back. They have returned on Wildcard Wednesday, which... Oh, they're, they're actually really good. Stay tuned for them, guys. These cards are a lot better than usual. But the thing is, the only news here that really mattered to me as well was that we did not get more power-ups just yet. Kind of what I was looking forward to. But let's get into all this, guys. But before we do, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on the notification bell. Come join the family, guys. A lot of people have been subscribing again. We're, we're getting back on the grind. we got the snowball effect rolling. Um, smash the like button, of course. And if you haven't already, like I said, if, you, if you're a loyal fan, you know, I see you guys every day popping out to the videos each and every day. I really appreciate you guys. The same guys. I know who you are who comment every single day. Shout out to my guy, Cali Country is one of them. But nonetheless, guys, if you're here, like the video. If you guys need coins, go ahead and over to Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off. But let's get into it. So reminders and updates. Competitive. Playoff broadcast for the Madden Club Championship starts this week. 700K on the line. Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern time will be the first game. Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern time will be AFC North and South Divisions. Follow at Madden League Ops on Twitter for exclusive giveaways and updates through the tournament. So make sure you're following that. You can guys get some giveaways and some stuff there. Updates. Solo battle rewards are targeted to release sometime today. So that's important. A lot of people have been waiting for the rewards. A lot of people who do play it or played 100 plus games because it was a glitch are definitely waiting for their rewards. Although they didn't get 100 game rewards. Only 13. But nonetheless, the Mutt team, the Mutt team, the Mutt team, the Mutt team twice. That's interesting. The Mutt team, the Mutt team will be rewarding players based on their correct placement from 13 games only. So there was a glitch. You were able to play as many games you wanted, apparently. Some people played over 100 games. They only counted your first 13. So if you went 100 no, you went 13 no. If you went 102, but you really only went 11 and 2 to start and then went 100 games, you're 11 and 2, which would really suck if you played 100 games and still have two losses on it, right? A bug was found in solo battles that was allowing players to play multiple games in solo battles. This issue has been addressed. Next, next week's solos battle, next week's solo battle rewards will be adjusted to reward players based on 13 games played. Team of the Week Milestone Reward. Players that have earned 68 out of 68 stars in the Team of the Week Milestone were not receiving their correct reward. Nat Team of the Week Player of the Week. Nat Team of the Week Player of the Week. That's interesting. This issue was fixed last night around 9.30 Eastern Time. So the biggest thing here, guys, is going to be solo battles. So remember, your reward's coming sometimes today. You guys are going to be asking when. I'm not sure. I would say uh, more than likely sometimes between 2 and 5. Uh, maybe 1 and 5 would be about... 1 and 5 is about appropriate. Somewhere between then. You know how EA works. They say sometime today, it's never the morning, it's never all the, it's never all the way at night usually, but 5 o'clock is typically the cutoff. At that point, they'll probably push it till tomorrow. But 1 to 5, somewhere between there, I would say anywhere between, like, more than likely 2 to 3.30 is where I could expect those rewards, sometimes closer to 1. But that's about it for that, guys. Let's go check out the flashbacks and some of the new cards. All right, so we're back on the Madden screen, guys. So let's go check out the new flashback cards, of course. Um, if you guys come over to special offers, training, 89 overall plus flashback players, always here. You guys can always test your luck with that. I don't recommend. It says it's 189 to 90 overall flashback player. Now, I do not see how you get the other ones, right? Because that's just 89 to 90, it says, which doesn't sound right. But, but, anyways, uh, the other flashbacks should be in packs as well, regardless. But let's go check out the auction block. Let's go check out these new flashback cards. They're actually good, despite what you people may think. Like, these flashbacks are better than usual. And a lot of them do have power up, so they can get to 95 overall. So that means they are usable cards. Because these aren't just, you know, it's not like 92, 93s. At least they are going to be cards that could be used in certain ways. Uh, so we got LaMarcus Jordan as the first one right here. Free safety for the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, 92 speed, 94 excel, 88 tackle, 90 play rec, 90 pursuit, 91 man coverage, 94 zone coverage, and hit power. We'll get 99 zone coverage with lockdown. So if you're on a Rams team team, this will be your guy. Going to be fast on a Rams team team. Going to have that. He's going to be theme team oriented, at least for LaMarcus Joyner. But good excel, good speed, good zone. Will be a budgety beast if he does have a low um, you know, price rating or price overall, price money, whatever you want to call it. Press, 89 press is good too. Just for a free safety, guys, he can play cornerback on a Rams team team considering. He's going to get the play rec, the zone, the man, the pit power, and the press, and the speed. He might be a stud corner, honestly, with that press. Do not sleep on LaMarcus Joyner, guys. He's actually really, really good. Next, we got Derek Carr, quarterback for the Raiders. Uh, 81 speed, 94 throw power, 93 short, 90 mid, 89 deep, 90 throw on the run. Sorry, 89 throw on the run, 90 throw under pressure, 90 play action. Can be powered up in Kemdo, so he can get to a 95 overall. We'll have 99 throw power. We'll have well above 90 on all his accuracies. I'd probably recommend you go uh, probably play fake, right? Get, get all the other stuff up. Everything else will be above 90. He's going to be a super good quarterback with the 81 speed, 6'3". 
Um, Kralo made some connections to uh, Rich Gannon. Rich Gannon is still probably going to be better, although Derek Carr probably is, you know, a decent, uh, decent comparison. Brian Bulaga, right tackle for the Packers. 88 strength, 95 awareness, 94 pass block, 95 pass block power, 93 pass block finesse, 90 run block, 89 run block power, and 90 run block finesse. Now, this card powered up and chemmed up will have all the thresholds. He's going to be a budget beast right tackle, right? Because a lot of right tackles are expensive. You're going to be able to get him for a low 100K price range because of his piece of flashback. You're going to get all the pass blocking thresholds, all the run blocking thresholds. Going to be a well rounded tackle. Now, of course, I know people care about speeds, only 60 and 65. But he's a right tackle. I mean, you know, maybe just don't pick plays that need him to be coming off the edge for some whatever reason. But otherwise, they typically stay put, right? In pass block protection, he's going to be great. Uh, in running game, he's going to be great. He's going to be great all around. You really can't go wrong with Brian Bulaga. So like I said, that's a usable car. You know, you don't, and you don't have to get 99 over alignment, right? Like at the end of the day, if they have the thresholds, at the end of the day, we, there's been research, there's been tests, there's been lab tests on this. Like, Linemen make a difference, but some people claim it's minimal. Some people claim it's none. You know, difference between pass protection on a 99 versus a 60 overall sometimes is 2.4 versus 2.8 seconds. Now, yes, that is a decent difference. That's going to be the difference between a touchdown and not. But in terms of the price range of what you're doing, the difference is huge, right? But let's keep moving on. We got JPP, Jason Pierre Paul as our left outside linebacker for the New York Giants. Flashback to 2016. Um, 83 speed, 90 excel, 87 strength. 92 tackle, 94 play rec, 88 block shed, 86 finesse uh, power move, and 97 finesse move. So this card's actually insane. Uh, if you power up and come up, you will have 89 block shed and 99 finesse move. Now, I don't know. If you guys if you guys think 99 stats make a huge difference, which in most teams they do, you go pass rush on him. You get him to a 91 excel, 84 speed with 99 finesse move, and he can stop the run. Or if you want to get that block shed up, you go with run stuff there. But guys, honestly, this Jason Pierre Paul is low key a good, another budgety beast. Like he's going to make the next budget beast video based on the price because we all know he's going to be and 95 hit power. This Jason Pierre Paul is low key, might be not low key, might be the best budget beast in Madden 21. Only 166k to have a 99 pass rush, able to stop the run, have the speed and 95 hit power, and can be powered up with abilities. This guy is good. Now, we got Yannick Ngakwe, which is another version kind of a Pierre Paul. Not as good in my opinion, though, but 85 speed, 89 excel, 80 strength, 91 tackle, 93 play rec, 73 block shed, 90 power move, and 97 finesse move. Why do I like Jason Pierre Paul more? They both get 99 finesse move. Jason Pierre Paul can stop the run as well. Yes, Yannick is faster, but I'm telling you guys, a 73 block shed, he's good. Like, if you're on a budget team and you just need a pass rush, that's all you need. Uh, you know what you're playing. It's more pass heavy sometimes this year. You know that you just need a pass rusher. Yannick Ngakwe is your guy, right? He's got the speed and the excel, and that's going to be the better pass rusher. But the thing is, compared to Jason Pierre-Paul, if your opponent's smart and knows that you have Yannick on the left side or, you know, right side, wherever you have him, they know if they stretch to that side, you're not getting, you're getting clamped every time. You're getting cut off. You're getting turned. Yannick Ngakwe is not making that play. It's going to be very rare if he does, and if he does, you're lucky. Pierre-Paul will set the edge. He will set the edge. He will fight across blocks. He will be a great run stuffer, which is going to stop the run and keep him in pass more, which will then lead to him using his pass rush ability. If Yannick gets just killed all day, and he's just going to be bad against the run, right? Like, you just know if you're running only a four-man front or three-man front, Yannick is going to get killed as well because he's going to be double-team blocked on top of all that. I'm telling you guys, Yannick Ngaku is good. Like I said, if you're going for pass rush, Jack's team, team, no problem. But I think I like Jason Pierre-Paul a little bit more, even though he has less speed. But guys, that pretty much does wrap up today's video. Just about everything we need to talk about in today's video is covered. We got our flashbacks, we got our notes, we got the solo battle uh, updates. So if you guys are waiting for your solo battle rewards, like I said, you can ask, uh, you can check on Twitter, head on over, check out Twitter, follow some YouTubers. That's typically the best way to stay up to uh, date. Follow the EA Sports account. Otherwise, guys, you can always just be checking out, you know, on the game itself, checking out your rewards. You know, they roll through slowly. Your friend might get them before you do. 10, 15 minutes, an hour. That happens. Don't freak out. But guys, about it for the video. If you're new, subscribe, turn on the noti bell. Come like the video. If you guys have been watching this long, guys, I appreciate all of you. Can we get 50 likes on this morning video? I would greatly appreciate that. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you guys need coins, head on over to Mutt Reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I'm out. Peace.